Hey everyone, when it comes to news, this week has been more packed than Boris Johnson's vocabulary or Diane Abbott's lunchbox. We finally got some headway on Brexit, HR McMaster was sacked, and France had another terror attack. Wowzers, and I thought my local supermarket was bad on a Friday. But in the background has been this slow-burning social media data story involving Facebook and Cambridge Analytica. At first I thought Cambridge Analytica was the stage name of one of President Trump's former girlfriends, or current girlfriends if rumours are to be believed, but it's actually a fairly dull, number-crunching sort of a company based near London's Canary Wharf Financial District. During the 2016 US election, they essentially collected and analysed voter data for the Trump campaign, which would normally be sort of okay, fine. You know, they're a political data insight company after all, and that's what they do, just like how Bloomberg, for instance, provide financial data, or how the Daily Mail's website provides all the news data you ever need, you know, assuming that your main interest in current affairs is focused primarily on gossip, celebrity, fashion, diet advice, and columnists complaining about how the new blue passports will be manufactured in France. Personally, I'd rather we got all those passports made in Catalonia or somewhere else in Europe with a strong separatist movement, you know, just to inspire them a bit. Cambridge Analytica, though, uh, from what's come out so far, the naughty part was that they got access to everyone's data because they lied and told Facebook it was part of an anonymous academic study, as you do, rather than a key part of gaming the electoral system for Donald Trump's political benefit as, their, as well as their own financial benefit. It's sort of a bit like if I walked into a BMW showroom and I drove off with a car because I lied and said it was from head office and we were using it in an advert. Except Facebook is also a company whose business model is that it makes money by selling data. So if you're kind of annoyed about them giving or selling your personal information to Cambridge Analytica, whatever the case of it was, then it's, it's sort of a bit like if you were the owner of that aforementioned BMW dealership and the chap taking the car for a spin was actually that chap at Avant and Deck who got charged for drink driving this week. You know, whether it's Facebook or otherwise, trusting a private company and its shareholders with a lifetime of sensitive and often highly embarrassing personal information makes about as much sense as going on holiday and trusting Damien Hurst to look after your pet shark. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.